Jesus affirms a summary of all of the scriptures is love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your strength, and love thy neighbor as thyself. Um, if that's really the, the summary of everything that's in there, um, then, then I test that against my experience of love working in the world. And I've seen that love working um, in all sorts of relationships and through all sorts of people. And there's nothing in my experience now that makes me think that queer relationships are manifestations of God's love any less than straight relationships. My name is Cody Hirsch. Um, I live in the Germantown neighborhood of Philadelphia. Um, and I still have membership in the meeting that I grew up in, in Miami, Florida, um, Southeastern Yearly Meeting. I call myself queer, even though I know that that's a challenging word for some folks, especially people of a different generation than I am, um, because it's important to me that that term um, feels like it has space, both for the complexity of how I experience my sexuality um, and the fact that I experience my sexuality as, um, as in resistance to a lot of um, cultural norms and expectations about what that's supposed to look like. And something that's really affirming for me as a Christian is looking at the life of Jesus and, um, and the amount of time that Jesus spent with people who were on the fringes of the culture that he was embedded in, um, that he, he really sought out the people who weren't um, the most privileged or the most respected or the most appropriate people for him to hang out with. Um, and that's powerful for me, I think. And, and also the fact that um, God seeking to have a human experience would choose to have that human experience um, embodied as someone who was um, born to a mother who was not supposed to be bearing children in, given her relationship status and cultural status, um, born to somebody in a situation of um, not just poverty but imperialist oppression uh, in Palestine, and that, um, that that was the human experience that God chose to have um, to me is a really powerful message and a really exciting message. Um, to the, what all of that together means to me, um, Jesus seeking to hang out with outcasts and God embodying in, in a kind of marginalized human form is that it's not, it's not just that the kingdom of God includes everybody, even folks at the margins. It's that the kingdom of God includes everybody, especially folks at the margins. Um, that if, if you don't quite fit in the structures of this world, if you find yourself in conflict and resistance with them, um, if you find that the power structures of this world um, shut you out from a lot of um, resource or authority um, or self-determination, um, you're a central figure in the kingdom of God.